Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look on one of the new feature which has been pushed to SharePoint list views, which is called as board view. So if you're working with the Jira or MS planners, you must have seen all the tasks are being arranged into card fashion where you can just drag and drop uh, the cards from one bucket to another one. So now that feature is available into the SharePoint list. So it enables user, your project lead, project managers to manage all the issues or tasks within one place just like Jira without introducing or using any other tool. So you can still remain into your SharePoint site and all the issues or all the program management stuff you can do within SharePoint lists itself. So we are going to take a look on that feature. So I am on one of my SharePoint site. And I have just went to the site contents where I can see all my list. And from here, I can just click on list. And that is, that will give me a one pop up where I can just select the existing template or create a blank list. So because we are going to work with the tasks, so I'll just choose the template as issue tracker. And I'll just click on use template. We'll name it as Let's say my SC, SPO project tracking and create it. So now this earlier, this uh, view used to give me a couple of uh, options where I can uh, simply say compact list and gallery. But now with the, this new enhancement, we got one more view which we can create by going over here in this options and clicking on create new view. So you can see we have the show as list, calendar, gallery and board. So this is a new view which has been pushed to our SharePoint list. So I'll just give that name as my dashboard so that I can just see all my tasks in that dashboard and I can just drag my cards, the, the actual action cards into one bucket to another one. So over here, we can choose organize by board by. So by default, it gave me the choices column which presents in my list. So in my this issue project tracking list, I have two columns that are by uh, choice columns, priority and status. So I choose a status. And if, if you are having some other column, so you can have use that other column over here very, very well. So I'll just choose status and create this view. So now you can see I got this bucket view where I have this unassigned items blocked in progress completed. So if you can, if you wish to change your status column option, then these buckets option, the names would get changed automatically. So right now we have these four. If I just start creating one item for my this new project SP project tracking, so let's say project initiation and I'll just status, I'll just keep it as unassigned and assigned to, I don't know yet. So I can just keep it there itself and date reported. You can keep it or you can change the caption of this or plan completed date. So this column is being tied up with the, with the validation. So I can just select today's one or the past one. Now the future one. So now you can see I got this task created. And now as we used to do in MS Planner or Jira tool, we can just drag this task so, so that it can just automatically change the status based on the bucket it has been dragged to. So you can just mark this completed. So if, if let's say you are working in agile methodology, then you would like to have that created into sprints. So you can very well do that. You can just go to your, this dashboard and you can just create this view, save as view. And let's say sprint one. So this view would be changed as sprint one. And then you can just simply go to added current view Not over here. So we have to go into our list settings. And I just find out that my, my dashboard sprint one. And because this sprint would actually be my upcoming two week sprint. So I would just simply say filter items where created date 
is greater than today's date so you can just uh, do a hard code date over here or so whenever you are creating that that uh, sprint week you can just your sprint manager or scrum master just create this view for us and once we save this view it will just give me the sprint view the tasks which are planned for my this upcoming weeks only so this is how you can manage you can have your multiple uh, boards over here and you can simply work on your task so the task which we had so it went into the backlog i would say like the past task sprints so now you can just work like this and if you wish to still uh, change few of the items for example you can see so the the earlier view where i created this task you can see i just got two options displayed issue name and status but i would like to have like multiple other columns to be displayed so you can just go over here in options so you can simply say format current view and over here you can see like there is one card designer so if you go to advanced mode you can you will find all the formatting json is placed over here so you can just change the logic for your formatting json from here or simply like uh, for normal users who doesn't understand the uh, json they can simply go to do this added card and whatever columns they wish to have they can just simply select for example i would like to show the assigned to person as well i would like to show the issued log by show preview of that user so these column would be added to my this view automatically so i'm just saving it and if you if i just fill out that information so let's say i just assign that to myself and issue log by again my some click then i'll just place that card and you will see like it has started giving me that assigned to and issue log by person so whatever information or the column you would like to display over here you can change that by using format current view option and you can also format the columns so conditional formatting you can just select this and you can add your rules so you, based on rules it will just filter out your this uh, view so for example so status is just equal to new then you can just format your this text based on this thing for example i would like to just mark them as yellow and save it so this rule will be created on status column and the text thing would be just change uh, the the color of the text so i'll just say new so because this assign to field is being taken care of, like if you if you are not assigning any status to it so that's why it has disappeared from this view you can just go back to your all item and you can just simply see like uh, the the status the, the color it has started giving me the color because a new status is bind up with that custom condition so that's how you can use your this newly created dashboard views where you can simply drag and drop your tracking uh, the issue items and then change the status and very well manage your scrum uh, sprint weeks on this dashboard itself so i hope being an end user being a uh, project manager project lead or scrum master you may wish to like try this out if at the local level not at the i would say enterprise level but uh, for specifically if you are building one site or one project small project you can simply track your all your issues or statuses or action tasks over there in this format so it's pretty intuitive pretty easy to manage so i hope like uh, this would be quite useful for you so that's it for today thank you